Hey, what's going on, everybody? Now, today is... Now, I normally don't care about Alliance War at all. But I wanted to give a little bit of a shout-out, especially for defense victories, to my Alliance, but specifically to Kia... Kiavir. I think that's a silent M. But let me know. Uh, and the reason why is because I want to go over some of his uh, war defense victories. But there's, a, there's one team in particular that I saw this and I was like, I think I might need to do a video about this because I thought about it and, it and I looked at it and I was like, wow, this is actually really interesting. And so maybe you all might find it interesting too. So let's go check that out. So it's specifically here in the bridge, uh, you know, we're, we're towards the end of this war and hopefully we're going to pull this out. I don't think that they can get that many points that quickly. Uh, and we have over 70 defense victories on our team, which is pretty crazy because they have higher trophies than we do. I don't know if they just weren't trying, but anyways, you know, we're, we're, we're pals here in the bridge and there's one team specifically. I want to scroll all the way down to the bottom, though, and kind of take a look at some of these. Now, a lot of them were, uh, you know, not super great or well thought out, in my opinion. Some of them I'm really confused about how they won. You know, he's been using a lot of uh, alternative versions of teams, and I think it's pretty interesting. But I also am wondering, like, did they just misplay? Because I don't have the... They got rid of the War Replay feature, or it's still bugged for me. I don't know what it, what's going on here. But anyways, we have a Black Order that beat a A-Force Apocalypse Probably was not a very good use of Apocalypse. I'm not sure why that was the case here. Uh, but then we have a Young Avengers with Squirrel Girl, or sorry, not uh, with uh, uh, Chavez taken out and put it in Baron Zemo and beaten Infinity Watch. Like, yeah, okay, they were like 200k higher. Now, I do kind of get some of this because I believe that Echo does uh, remove the assist mechanic by Nebula, so that's a thing too. Uh, but anyways, I thought it was kind of funny, and then then they still won. Black Order still won. They used to, this is bad. Like I don't know why you would use an Inhuman team there. And then they finally took out with Masters of Evil uh, the rest of the Young Avengers over here. So and then they finally they this was a colossal waste. So I think when I saw this, I was like, wow, this alliance uh, doesn't care because they're using a full Gamma team against two members of the Black Order. Uh, he's got a um, Masters of Evil. This is a weird one. It's not even... Okay, so it's like Ultron absorbing... Or sorry, Ultron and Absorbing Man with three members of the Darkhold team. And they managed to pull a Darkhold team to do that. Maybe they weren't paying attention. The offense wasn't quite paying attention to the fact that uh, Morgan Le Fay... And Wong wasn't even on this list, but, but we're gonna get there because there's some pretty pretty crazy things here. Uh, a, a mixed um, Heroes for Hire here with Nick Fury, and then we have this one's kind of funny too: a Death Seed without Archangel, and instead has Emma Frost as the because uh, they, they Emma synergizes with uh, villain mutants, and it combat canceled against a full Death Seed. I don't know how, but I mean, it is a really high-powered team. So he's at 1.97. He's like 1.7 million without Emma Frost. And so that was really, really big here. But against a 1 million full team, this one didn't do so well. Uh, this was like a mixed hybrid with Secret Avengers and Rebirth. Now, this one, really funny, though, because then we have the Underworld team on defense, but with Killmonger instead of uh, Green Goblin. And this was about a 1.24 million team. And this is winning, like, a lot of different fights. Now, he's not choosing the, the best of teams here to go up against this. And honestly, he probably just got blown away by Taskmaster's ultimate and probably just wrecked them all because he hits really, really hard. But Underworld is another good team that actually, surprisingly, can be used in a defense capacity if you so choose. Then we have a Hero as Guardians Vol uh, against a Invaders team. Didn't go so well there. And then there's mine. But we're not really here to talk about anything of mine because I don't think anything really, uh, you know, kind of pops out that much here. We had an Eternals team lose. I've actually seen some Eternals lose because they're either not able to kill everyone or Vol brings them back. That's the thing. Normally, when you're using Eternals against Heroes Guardians, you need Icarus's all to double tap and just basically wipe the field. That's what kind of ended up happening here, but looks like he was trying to, like, I don't know, get the right RNG to happen or for Icarus to actually kill them off. Something I, you know, I can't, I wish I could replay it. And then finally, 
He uses an underworld team here to take out this Death Seed that's not even really full Death Seed because it doesn't have Archangel. But this, this is the team. This is the team that I want to talk about. Now, it is a very large team. We're looking at 2 million power. And he's got a very large Apocalypse. But here, this is what it is. It's not actually Kestrel, but the fact that it's only a two-person Darkhold team is really impressive. Here's why. It's this character right here. It's America Chavez. Now, do you guys, does everyone here know what happens when you put America Chavez on war defense? I think that's what people forget, is that she has a part of her kit. You know, and, and, and I think I need to bring this up really quick. MSF.GG, because I should have br brought this up in advance because I was talking about her. And we go into her kit and we go in, scroll here into the war defense part. It's the, I should, can I zoom in a little bit more? I hate how it does this. Actually, there we go. Down here, on war defense, on spawn, fill speed bar by 25%. For adjacent allies it also does reduce enemy drain by 100 for better or for worse uh but it's mainly this part now i used to do some shenanigans with uh america chavez like a year and a half ago when this was implemented or whenever it was implemented and using them with black order believe it or not because it would actually push up the turn bar on some of the skills which would allow them to wipe things out now this one's kind of crazy because i don't know 100 i should have asked which characters it looks like it's in this character order which means that it's actually giving the turn bar to kestrel and to morgan le fay but it could be somebody else i'm not sure if that actually represents the left or right uh when it comes to the i should know this for the battle history uh but i would almost wonder if you had this given to say morgan le fay and apocalypse this would make a pretty big deal because apocalypse gives safeguard on his special which would be pretty huge so this was able to wipe out obviously a much lower uh, dark old team but still crazy nonetheless because if you think about it being able to push up morgan le fay's ultimate you know before any other sort of turn bar mechanic this is really really big or any other speed related thing so this is pretty crazy for a mixed hybrid team now we get another combat cancel because he goes back in here and he tries to do it with uh dark hold dormammu by replacing scarlet witch and including dormammu doesn't work i really wish i could see the replays on this he's got a huge huge gamma team here but instead replaces abomination with archangel now i do <laughs> and it beat a gamma it beat a basically a beer dormammu so i don't know if it's just the raw power here in this instance uh maybe that's what it is or does the archangel actually do something because of the whole uh when somebody dies you know the passive goes off and knocks people turn bar back i don't know because I really wish I could see the replay. Then, then we get this one with a that, that same Darkhold team, which then fails to actually kill anyone. Or sorry, it only kills two people and still leaves the three of them up, which is pretty funny there. And then when we scroll back up, you know, I get a little bit of stuff, but you know, that's not what we're here to talk about. Though, uh, we do have my infestation in the making. However, you know, obviously with no big time Spidey, uh, we're not quite there yet. But I decided to try and use uh, Doc Ock for this, and it didn't really make too much of a deal, unfortunately. At least against Infinity Watch, they did punch up against me. But hey, that's to be expected without Big Time Spidey on the team. Anyways, we're scrolling up further and further. Underworld gets another win. Underworld gets another combat cancel on the defense. Nobody's dead yet. In fact, beats another Underworld team. And then finally, they use a full gamma team to beat the three gamma that were left over you know that's pretty crazy underworld gets another win against uh, weapon x and then finally they they i guess after tapping it with underworld he goes back in with another underworld offense to beat the underworld defense my guess is that the cooldowns were just completely out of whack and eventually they were able to kill that but we still have the apocalypse team going and that's what's just honestly really crazy about this because we have apocalypse here with the dark old team and they're slightly damaged but not a lot and the fact that they're even doing this with only two true members of the dark old team out of five is honestly kind of crazy they beat a full uh death sea team after what looks to appear that the, this team has actually taken ability energy suffrage uh but i guess the fact that 
America Chavez is pushing everyone else's turn. The two two adjacent member turn bars up is quite crazy. Then they go back even after this. He, they go back in and you, can, you you see they're fully healed, which which is weird between this match and this match. And they go back in with a 1.2 million Darkhold Dormammu again, and they're losing. Now finally they go back in and pull in a Darkhold Apocalypse team, and it's somebody else. And they do manage to kill Wong. So after all of that, they do manage to kill Wong. And then we keep going. And then it requires a Gamma to finish them off. Now, this was quite the saga. Because I feel like... I don't know how, how long he, they lasted here. But one... I almost want to count two, three... Um, there was quite a few. Three... I think there was more than that. Let's just scroll back down here, I guess. So there was a lot. Uh, four... Five. Uh, was that? I think there were no. There were still more. No, was that it? Okay. Well, I was a bit surprised. I thought there was more than that. But anyways, I think it was really interesting because the whole reason why I brought this up was not just for you to maybe consider using some an arrangement like this, but it's more to consider the power of America Chavez. And how that if Young Avengers kind of are failing a little bit, then maybe there's some value with this character. Because if you already have this T4 from the Young Avengers, and maybe you can consider... And I'll be honest, I'm not, I'm not here to tell you exactly what to do with her or who to use her with. But a lot of people seem to have forgot that actually speed mechanics, speed bar mechanics are huge in getting the heads up on people. And this was very popular back in the day when people were using characters like the Eternals. This was very common. There was a video on my channel where I talked about using her uh, with the Eternals right next to them because they would get the heads up on their attack and it would require a double tap. Back when the Eternals were insanely strong and there were no real counters at that time, America Chavez was one of the biggest characters to be used here because it would only work in the war defense and 25% turn bar in this manner was just absolutely huge. So for those of you who are, you know, bigger into war defense, I would just encourage you to maybe consider other uses for her. And maybe there's some teams out there that would really benefit, some really strong teams that would benefit from having her on the war defense with them. Darkhold seems to be the biggest one, only because I think that they're a very strong uh, mix and match team. But in this instance, they're not even using the full the full Darkhold team. You could have probably, I wonder what would have happened if you used... Instead of Kestrel, maybe Agatha. Because I think Agatha gives a little bit more support and uh, control as well of the team. Depending on who they're going up against. But there could be some other strong choices in this matchup as well. You know, like a Quicksilver, for example. Like a very a built up Quicksilver who can then summon a Scarlet. Which would probably make a pretty big deal here as well. And I, I, I might try it myself. Honestly, so if you're looking for something new and fun to do with Alliance War Defense, then I think you should consider maybe pulling your Chavez from your War Defense because the Young Avengers are just going to get beat by, uh, you know, a lot of people are using A-Force Doom or some Doom variant to beat a, a Young Avengers, and they're just not lasting on the War Defense anymore. So I think that this could be really fun, and uh, I might consider this uh, for myself, you know, because like I said, uh, maybe I'll just try this exact same sentiment. Take out uh, America Chavez, put Baron Zemo in there or something, and uh, try using America Chavez with one of my other teams. Uh, maybe hybridization is the way to go because it actually just, it really flips people up, it seems, and uh, people aren't really used to even a change up in one character of the team. But I'd be interested to know what you all think, and as I've been recording this video, the time is counting down on my war. Looks like I'm probably going to pull this out, so I'm thankful for that because of the event that's ongoing right now. Now, let me know what you think, though, and uh, until next time, stay safe and healthy, and I'll see you all later. Oilon, signing out.